InkFrog and Potential InkFrog customers, we have a whole lot of settings to discuss in this tutorial. These settings include eBay accounts, eBay sync settings, auto realist, marketing, print templates, store connector, and staff accounts. So if you're ready, let's begin. From your dashboard, select settings, then eBay accounts. Within your eBay account settings, you're able to add your eBay account, delete your eBay account, update your eBay token, refresh the information between eBay and InkFrog, and select additional settings. Delete will remove your eBay account from InkFrog. If you choose to delete your eBay account, all associated listings will be permanently removed from InkFrog. If you need to update your eBay token, select the key button and follow the on-screen prompts. A token is a unique identifier for your account and allows InkFrog to access data in eBay's system and send information for your listings. Refresh updates information between InkFrog and eBay if necessary. For example, if you've updated your eBay store categories on eBay and you're not seeing those updates reflected in InkFrog, select the Refresh button and you should see those updates within seconds. And then we have the Settings button. Once selected, you're presented with a pop-up. The options available are to enable or disable discount pricing. This refers to strike-through pricing on eBay and not Markdown Manager and also enable local in-store pickup. Both of these options require eBay approval, so if you're interested in enabling either or both options for your eBay account, please make that request through eBay customer support. And next we have eBay sync settings. The first four options offer the ability to enable or disable listing, shipping, return, or payment profile sync. If enabled, any changes made to your listing, shipping, return, or payment profile will update any eBay listing within InkFrog if the profile is linked to the listings. Next we have Sync Design Template, and if enabled, and if you've linked your InkFrog design template to your listings, if you make changes to the template, those changes will automatically update to all listings linked to that template. InkFrog will always import your eBay messages from customers with Enable Messages tab toggled in the On position. If you do not want to manage your eBay messages with an InkFrog, toggle this setting to Off. We've discussed the Messages tab setting. If you've set this to the On position, InkFrog will import your eBay messages from customers. However, InkFrog does not automatically import your account messages from eBay. If you would prefer to see your eBay messages in InkFrog, toggle Import Messages Sent by eBay to the On position. We recommend turning on the next two settings. It may cause a few additional emails within your inbox, but these definitely help manage your eBay listings by alerting you to potential problems within the listings. So first we have Send Failed Listing Emails, which will send you an email anytime a scheduled listing fails to post to eBay. And next we have Send Failed eBay Sync Emails, and this should only be enabled if you're using a store connection with InkFrog, so currently Shopify, BigCommerce, or Amazon. And with this setting enabled, InkFrog will email you to alert you if we fail to update an eBay listing with a change made to a linked store product. By enabling these settings, you're made aware of the problem and can access InkFrog to correct it. Back in the settings menu, we have auto relist. These are account-based auto relist settings. They will apply to all listings in the account or can be set per eBay username if you have multiple eBay usernames connected to one InkFrog account. To use auto relist, select the eBay account or all and then turn on auto relist enabled. The listing status options are any status, sold, or unsold. Listing status refers to whether your listing on eBay had any sales or not. If you set this rule to any status, then it will auto list your items regardless of if the item was sold on eBay or unsold. Any item that has a quantity of zero will be set to one when it is relisted unless it's prevented by the following inventory-based rules. The eBay quantity settings offered are any, more or equal, or between. This setting is set to use your current eBay quantity. Total store quantity offers the same settings, but it's based on your current store quantity available. If you choose to enable ignore and early, this rule will ignore all auto relist rules if you choose to end your eBay listing early from within InkFrog. Max relist number lets you set a quantity value for how many times a listing should be relisted, and you're also able to set a relist time. For example, if listings are scheduled to post between 7 p.m. and 9 a.m., reschedule them to post for the following 9 a.m. You may also choose to relist immediately, delay after end by days or hours, 
or only released on certain days between a specific set of hours. The last option for auto release settings is the listing format. The selections include any fixed price, which includes multi variation or auctions. Once you're satisfied with your list settings, select Save. There are also a few marketing options available. Enable purchase confirmation emails and enable shipment tracking emails. If purchase confirmation emails are enabled when a purchase is made on eBay, Inkfrog will send your customer a friendly email thanking them for the purchase and advertising some of your other items for sale within the email. If shipment tracking emails are enabled, Inkfrog will send your customer an email with the tracking information and also promote your other listings within the email. And next we have Inkfrog Advertising. So if you leave this option enabled, Inkfrog adds a logo to your eBay listing. If you're using a free account, it is not possible to disable the ad. Any paid plan user may disable the ad at any time and it will automatically be removed from your eBay listings. Inkfrog also offers print templates to print packable invoices for your buyers and simple address labels. If you're familiar with coding, you may alter the appearance or create new print templates. Select the Edit button, make any necessary changes, then Save. You're also able to preview the template. To use the templates, access your sold listings in Inkfrog, select the checkbox for one or more listings, then click Bulk Actions, choose Print Orders, and make the template selections and click Print. Store Connector is available if you've connected your store to Inkfrog, currently Shopify, BigCommerce, or Amazon. To add a new store, select Add a Store and follow the on-screen prompts. If you've already linked your store, you may access your import page, store sync settings, regenerate your store token, or delete your store from Inkfrog. The final settings available here are staff accounts. Staff accounts are available if you're subscribed to Inkfrog's unlimited plan. Once you've accessed staff accounts, select settings and enter a unique username for your staff to log in. Then select add user. Enter the staff member's first name, last name, email address, and an optional phone number. If you want to limit account permissions, select the Limit Admin Access for this user checkbox. Then, unselect any sections of the account that the user should not be able to access. Then select Send Invite. Your staff member will be emailed an invitation, and then once they accept, they'll also be prompted to create a password. Your staff will not use the same login as yourself when accessing Inkfrog. Once the staff member accepts the invitation and sets a password, they're emailed a link, which is your settings link, where we set the unique username earlier. It's recommended that they bookmark this link. And that covers your Inkfrog account settings. And if you have questions at any time, just select the help icon within your account or email our customer care team at open at inkfrog.com.